Greetings all, Frog here. Let's play Factorio efficiently. In the last episode, as you'll recall, we set up all the single input, um, just all the single inputs, I guess. And we have, of course, our one double input. We haven't even thought about triple inputs yet. I don't have near enough space. Did not plan enough space for this. It's going to be very, very messy. It's not space efficient. <laughs> it's product efficient. All right. So... Our iron here is winding down, which is not a fear because we have plenty of it to the south. Um, that is not what I meant to click on. Our power issues are non-existent, really, but that's because the factory doesn't continually run. So in a way, we are more power efficient this way as well. What we do need to do, however, is set up some smelting for our stone because we need more walls. So what I'm just going to do temporarily, just to make it easy on ourselves, is to set them up over here. So... Um, is that going to be enough space? I don't think so. It will not be enough space. Uh, we'll just bring power over here for the inserters, but... Oh, I do have burner inserters, I suppose. We're going to just, um... Where's my iron chest? Right there. Give me... It. We're going to turn the stone into brick, because right now we don't need rail. We need brick. Um, we'll just put this in there as well. Put some burner inserters down to do what needs to be done. Um, and then I really don't want extra burner inserters. Well, you know, if I ever create another column of steam engines, which I will do at some point, I'll need them. So two more burner inserters seems to be legitimate. I wonder if they'll take coal from the, those things as well. Probably not, actually. Nope, that'll just run out. That is silly. Here, have some wood. That is very silly. It's understandable, but it's very silly. Alright, so we'll just make some more bricks. We'll let those build up as we create more of our factory. Okay, we definitely don't have the space to do a double setup here. We're going to have to, we just have to do this. I'm not doing the science. This is over, right? So let's just reclaim it. Get all the parts. It gives me a little more room for engine material, as it were. I do reclaim a lot of stuff, so that's good. I like stuff. We're going to keep the power grid here because we're going to need it. Um, I think I'm going to just pick all of the brains for this over here. So we'll have to extend the red circuit network over to here, but that's fine. I mean, that's, that's not a problem. Um... Because then that'll leave all of this room for blue, which is going to need three. This one only needs two, so we can fit most of that here, even a little bit behind it. We should be able to fit it all in. Um, and then this one needs three, so it's going to need a bunch of room. But we can spill over into here if we, if we really need to, which I think we're going to really need to. So we'll be able to do that when the time comes. All right. I will use some more of this, so it'll make this guy run again. So that'll be nice. Give me, just give me, give me a bunch. I don't know. Give me a bunch. Get a large inventory. Might as well use it. All right. Um, honestly, that would be a great place for an offloading system too, because there'd be so much available. But no, 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 no. We'll have to offload over there or something or somehow. I don't, I don't know. We'll figure out the offloading later. Let's just go worry about getting stuff done. So, to do a double input, what do I need? I don't need this one, because I don't have to order them in pairs. But I need one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four. So I need five and four. All right, I have one. So I need three more of these bad boys. One, two, three, and five of them. That's good. Uh, we're going to go around and do all the double. Oh, that's a triple. All right, so that's a triple as well. We're going to do this one, because it's a double. And we're going to tuck it in behind, I think. I don't know. We'll just go through and look at all the doubles and just do some doubles. That's a double, right? Yeah, that's that's a double. So we'll do this one. I need some smart inserters. Uh, I need one, two. Well, let's just just do the two I need right now. Um, that's a double. That's a double. So let's get uh, one, two, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna need um, two more of these, three more of those. Let's get everything queued up, ready to go, ready to rumble, as it were. And then I need five more of these. One, two, three, four. Five more of these. One, two, three, four. Okay. So that gets me all of those. 
I probably should set those guys up first. I suppose that makes sense, because, you know, reasons. Then I also need to set up the, um, green, I need to set up circuits. Which probably, yeah, probably should be up here. So I'll have to set up circuits up here and get that going as well. Circuits are a double, so we'll have to set those up. I now do have space here. Now, I, I think I'm going to inject the raw materials at the top. Just bring them in right here. Just, I think that's going to be the best way for them. Alrighty, so let's let's get these guys on board, because I, I need to make a bunch of these, and it would be nice, because these guys, obviously, the machines craft faster than I do. So it's better to have them doing their thing, so I'm not tied up doing my thing. Um, there's no room here, so we're going to have to put them here somehow. There's not a lot of room there either. Wow. Uh, these guys will be down here, so I'm not worried about that, but this one will have to just squeeze into this space. This one's going to have to squeeze into this space, so there it is. Um, I can't spill over because all of this space is going to be necessary for the blue. This is a nightmare. That's going to have to squeeze into here. This is going to have to squeeze into... I don't know where. We'll figure all that out later. But right now, this is going to have to squeeze into here. So I need five and four. Uh, let's do this setup. Whoops, this setup first. So that's going to be the one that combines them together. That's going to be the one, the original one. Set, reset. Okay. Now I need these bad boys. Oh, these are backwards. No, they are correct. Right, good. Set, reset. The two different materials. Two different materials again in the original. Okay. That's everything that we need to do one of these bad boy setups. Um, we need these. And then we need some long arm inserters as well, actually. Alright, so we need another smart chest. Have those been made? They have. So that's for one, two, three. And I do have my smart inserters as well for that. Good. So all these will get done. Uh, you need to filter uh, circuits, I know, so we'll copy that to here and here. Too far for that one, that's okay. And then the other component is copper cable for all of these, I believe it is. So then you need to filter copper cable. Now, ideally, in the perfect world, I would have another inserter there. Here, excuse me. Oops, I didn't need that. You can have your box back, but I need your inserter. Um, ideally, in a perfect world, we would have um, these after this. <laughs> you know? But it's too late. What I really need to do is just get a whole bunch of red belt going. I should probably make red belt next after these guys. So do these guys, then do red belt and, and make it, you know, good. Okay, so this is going to be the original signal that looks for our arithmetic combinators. So the arithmetic combinators are on logistics, which totally makes sense to me. It actually does make sense to me. That's a good thing. And we need to break down the component parts. We need, what, five of each. So we're going to multiply this by five and then resend it out. So then this is going to take that signal, combine it with the wait, if these are the same, I don't have to do this magic, right? Because I take that by five, input oh right, because I have to turn them okay, right, 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 right. That times one to output the components. So I need copper cable. And then I also need electronic circuit. So that's those. Right. Then these are the ones that take the two components, which in this case will be copper cable. I don't want to click twice. So then in this case will be circuits, and in this case will be copper cable. I will combine it with the dummy signal. Output the dump output the dummy signal, which will be A, because if I start using the blank now, I'll be way too confused. 
combine it with the dummy signal, output it to A. Beautiful. This is the one that takes A, compares it to Bravo, and outputs alpha as one. No, outputs input count of alpha. This is going to combine everything and output Bravo. This is our set reset switch. Alpha equals one. Alpha equals zero output one, rather. Now we're going to wire this up. Output to input. Output to input. Cut and paste, and we're done with the RS latch, or the SR latch, depending on your point of view. Give me a whole bunch of these, a whole bunch of these, a whole bunch of that, a bunch of, give me, 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 okay. Then while I'm at it, make five of these. Okay. I don't need level one assemblers pretty much ever again. So we have that. Uh, we've got our RS switch set up. We can do this. This is going to pull off of the main network. So you are input from the main network. Did I miss? I'm too far away, probably. Input to the main network. Then you are going to output into both of these bad boys. So output into from, from here to here to here. Okay. Now, these guys, you're going to output from here to this input. You're going to output from this here to that input. To that input. You will control the copper cables first. Okay, fine. You will control the copper cable. You will control that bad boy. The two chests are going to go into here. The output of this goes into the input of this. Um... The output of these goes into the input of this. The output of this goes into the reset switch. The set switch goes into our green network, which I have to run along the back end because I have not done that yet. Okay, so that gets the reset switch in there. Um, and then this has to be run for these. This will run if alpha equals 1. Copy that. Oh, I copied the wrong one. Ugh, stupid. If alpha equals 1. Copy that one. These will run if alpha is greater than zero. Excellent. Well, what I can say is at least we're getting faster at putting these down. Huh? That should be everything. So I probably forgot something. All right, do it again. Eh? One, two. Oh no, because see we can't do that there because we need to we need to output these. So that's gotta go there. Alright. Same thing here. That's gonna go there. That's gonna go there. So we output all the things. Which means I can only put one of the RS switches here. And I have to put the rest of it elsewhere. Oh right, this doesn't have the space above anyway, so we're gonna try and squeeze things into here. As it is, we can do that, but then we need room for three more. One, two, three. Yeah, actually, that'll work just fine. All right. I accept your proposal. I just have to remember that this is for this. That will get confusing. Um, one, two. One, two, three. Okay. So that's that. They're backwards. They're all backwards. Oh, my God. All right, that's all right. All right, so now they're all the same way that I expect them to be. Let's just use a small cable here. Put it... Try and get there so it's at least not too much in the way. Okay. Oh, I need the, I need the green signal to carry into that. Too far, huh? 
There we go. So now at least the reset signal is going where it needs to go. Alrighty, so this is going to take the main signal off of the network. This is going to... I put those... I inverted them. I did. Okay, well that's fine. Those are all set up. I'm okay if those are inverted. For all this stuff, though, I need input on the left. Okay, you're going to take the input for the number of these bad boys that we need. And you're going to multiply that by 5. Because you need 5 of everything. Excuse me. Um, and you're going to output those things. Okay. You're going to take the input, which is these bad boys. You're going to multiply it by the dummy signal. Well, hold on. Well, yeah, because I just copied it. You're going to multiply it by the dummy signal. No, you're not. You're going to multiply it by 1. And you're going to output the components. Okay. Copy to there. You need to be circuits. That's what I need to make sure, actually, up there is that I didn't screw that up. So you are circuits going into circuits. Good. You are there, 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 into that. Okay. Yeah, I just inverted those. So you're going to be that into that. You're going to be circuits. You're going to take the this, and you're going to take circuits, and then you're going to multiply by a dummy signal, output that dummy signal, and we're going to do the same thing here. Oops. Do a similar thing here. You are my RS gate. Output to input, output to input, copy over. You are going to say alpha equals bravo. Output alpha. You are going to be if everything is greater than zero. Output brava. Bravo. Brava. It's all the same. You are going on the top. So let's do this before I forget. Output to here. Output to here. Okay, good. So into this, we need to know what's in the chest. Chest goes into here. That gives us that. So if everything is greater than zero, which it is, the output of this goes into here. The output of this goes into here. Output of this goes into here. All right. The output of this one goes into the, into the reset part of the set reset. The main reset goes into here. Um, Working backward, this input has to go into the primary network. This output goes into this splitter input and also into this one. This goes into here. This goes into here. And that should be everything. Uh, everything except for these guys. Copy that to here. Copy that to here. Copy that to here and here. Oh, these aren't connected. Okay, that's what I'm missing. Good to know. You come into here and into here. Now we can copy that. Oh, it doesn't work? That's weird. Oh, because that one's not set up yet. Of course it doesn't work. That's okay. These are pretty easy to do. There we go. So these two, these two guys are ready to. Oh no, because this is the wrong. These aren't them. Thankfully, all this setup is okay. It's just this is wrong. I'm sure you can see what I did. I'm not doing this one. I'm doing this one. So, um, this controls circuits. So, you control circuits. You go here. You go here. Um, the two chest inputs come into here and here. And then the reset goes into here, or the set, rather. Goes into both of those. Now we can cut and paste. because I'm actually going from what I thought I was going from. 
All right, so now it's done. Uh, no, because I had to... No, I didn't cut these, right? I just moved the boxes. Cool. All right, how's our wall supplies coming? We're out of stone. We have six, five, 670 stone brick. It's a lot of walls. Let's make them all. Uh, this is out. This is out. Wow. Running thin on the ground, guys. Thin on the ground. Thin on the ground for sure. Um, I don't have any fuel. Now, the big question is going to be, will I remember this next week when I go to record again? Because <laughs> I, I think we came a far... We came a long way. Like, this is this is complicated stuff. And we're on point. Um, what I do need to do before I stop, though, or I will forget to place this, I need to put in the... Um, uh, these. Before I forget, that would that would have been very, very bad. I don't need to wire any of it up. I just need to put it there so that way I can see. Oh, yes. I must do this. So that's where that's going to go. This might be the offloading area. It's tempting, actually. Um, we'll have to see. Because what I could do is I could take a green wire condition from here into the offloading area. And so it'll only take from the order into the system. So that's tempting. Well, that's all I have for today, this week, actually. You'll you'll see me tomorrow. I won't touch this game again for a few days, so hopefully I will remember what's going on. But um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click the like button. It really does help with the search results. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated to everything as it happens. Uh, and then you'll find when I'm going to be live streaming, which will, will happen. It's already happened at least one other time this week, and will continue to happen in the future. But until next time, cheers.